Hello and welcome to Cumberland County's Crafts Around a House. My name is Jocelyn Williams from the Bordeaux Library and today I'm going to teach you how to make photo coasters like these beautiful ones right here. The supplies that you're going to need, a cute little brush here, you can get this at a craft store, some scissors, an exacto knife, some mosh podge, a tile, cork backing. I like a photo. You can make copies of your photos if you have like an a old photo that you don't want to damage or you don't have, if you only have one copy of it. Um, but I think that original photo copy is, would last longer. These are old, these last for a long time. So original photo on photo paper. Um, and then you need clear acrylic seal. So let's get this party rolling. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut your picture to size. I have a four by six picture and I, you, I want my little flower to be the center. So the size of the towel is a four by four by four. And then, so once you have your towel, once you have your picture cut it, I'm sorry, then you're ready to go ahead and put your Mod Podge on. All right, so then you're gonna put the Mod Podge in two places. First, you're gonna put some, I always just put it, just a little blob on there. And then we're gonna, we paint the tile. And you're gonna do this step about three times three to five times, really. So we put like a nice thin coat on here. Mod Podge dries pretty fast. And then you just kind of pat it out and let it dry. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles in here. And then this has to dry. It doesn't take very long for it to dry. So we're just mod podging over this one, giving it another coat. And you want to make sure that, that the mod podge you're using is glossy. I mean, you can go for matte, but you know, it just helps the pictures pop when they're glossy. So the next thing that you would do would be to after you've put in three to five coats of Mod Podge on, you want to make sure that you seal it. And the sealant is basically so that it can hold your water device. Um, a clear acrylic sealant is what you're going to spray. I'm not going to spray it in here because it, um, it's strong. You want to make sure that you're outside and it's not a downwind you don't want it to blow back in your face or anything like that um, and you don't want to do it on your personal sidewalk or table usually get some wax paper set your towel down on it and then spray it let it dry spray it again about three or four times that way it will seal it it'll seal your towel and um, it makes your towel pretty much um, pretty much waterproof but not like guaranteed waterproof okay don't hold me to it but it makes it waterproof enough that it can hold your cup. Um, it can hold um, your cup from, you know, from like a sweaty cup. So you'll be good to go. And um, pretty much that's it. And makes your towel ready to go. And as far as that part. And then the last part that we need to do would be to put our cork or backing on. And you do that by having some cork. You can go with felt, or if you don't have felt, you can get some cork like this. I found this cork and it has its own adhesive. Or you can get cork 
and hot glue it on. And that's how you make a beautiful photo coaster. If you enjoyed this program and would like to know more about our other programs, please give us a call at 483-7727 or visit our website at www.cumberland.lib.nc.us. And thank you for watching.